All right, uh, so back again for Guild Wars. Um, for those of you who are paying attention, um, <laughs> I missed the last two Guild Wars. Uh, and that was right after saying I needed to save up for ML Vivian, so <laughs> take that as you will. Um, but the point being that, yeah, so we're here again. Uh, we've got a few summons we're going to go do uh, before. I guess I'll just talk about them real quickly. I might make a dedicated video on these two. Um, but pull her if you have strippers, good enough strippers to go with her. Otherwise, she's basically useless. Um, Spectre Tenebria is just good for, or regular Tenebria is good for Spectre Tenebria, um, what's it called? Merges or, um, yeah, merges, I just call, I just call them merges. A Spectre Tenebria merges, or in some cases, some people like having, uh, Fairy Tale Tenebria merges, which I don't really care too much about, it's more just Spectre Tenebria for me. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go do our daily summon. And we got this, okay. Um, like I said, I'm saving these for, so it's not this week, next week here the week afterwards. Uh, I have 47 summons off, so that's about 2,350 2, bookmarks I need to get to guarantee Vivian. Um, so we're, we're gonna work on that. Uh, let's see. I have one of these. Let's see what I got here. Nothing. Uh, yep. All I need is Camilla out of that. Uh, let's see what we get here. Nothing. Okay. Uh, so not, yeah, not very good. Anyway, you slice it. Uh, so we're gonna go talk. We're gonna go do Guild Wars, um, and I'm going to use Shu this time because I actually have her upgraded and everything. Um, let's go see how our team is doing. I haven't been attacked in a long time, and now here we are. So, okay, so yeah, it's, it's like been a huge time since I've been attacked. So let's take a look here. Kind of break down what happened. Okay, so obviously, so we won. Obviously, her job is to kill him. She might not have killed him, and that's what ended up being that way, or, like, because I'm not saying she didn't kill him, but, like, she might not have, like, one-shot him, and then she swooped up or something, but presumably she went first. Uh, she cleansed at some point, and then these two, like, her dual attacking with her constantly probably killed her, and then after that, um, yeah, I'm not sure, but that, this is pretty good, um, pretty interesting turnout here. So down here we have... Uh, let's see, defeat. Actually, I feel like changing that. I might change her out for someone, but we'll see. Uh, so basically she... Oh, that's that's what just made Chloe. I thought that was someone else. Um, yeah, it looks like she just, like, probably dumpstered her real quick with her. And then they just kind of went to town on the rest of this team. Um, which is kind of one of the worries I had about having her here, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, let's go back. Uh, let's see what... I'm not gonna... I'm gonna try, because she's built... My shoe is built so well that I think she'll be pretty good in general. So I'm not gonna try to cherry pick, like, when to use her. Let's see. We're gonna bring her into... Hmm. I'm gonna bring you here. Uh, let's bring, where is, what's his name? You. Well, I need a, I need a cleanser. I think a cleanser would be nice here. Up here, I'm bringing Hua Young. I'm bringing you. And I'm bringing, where is he? You. Okay, so these three are kind of what I'm going there. Down here, uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm bringing you. There's no AOE, so I can't really bring him. Um, I'm gonna, yeah, I'll bring I'll bring Shu into this. Shu's got a counter set, but no one's gonna hit her, unfortunately. Uh, so she was there. I need someone to bait her with, but I also kind of want to cleanse these debuffs. I guess I'm just going to have to go with you. Uh, yeah, we'll just go with main Chloe and see what happens. Um, hopefully she's geared. Actually, I'll be right back. I'm going to go double check that.
All right, she's about as well geared as she's going to be without me um, just dumping a bunch of gear on her, which we don't have free unequip events, so I'm not going to do that. Oh, but yeah, she's perfectly fine. Um, yeah, we'll just go with this. We'll see what happens. Let's see what happens first. Okay, so this is good because it means Hua Young has attack buff, which means we can steal it with um, Ramiru. Hopefully he doesn't die from this, but we'll see how she does. It's 30% damage reduction plus 20% damage share. Get us alive there. Nice. Okay, so now we're just gonna... I'm just gonna hit her, I guess. Hopefully this kills him. Let's see. Ooh, counterattack. Did he crit? I don't know. No way of knowing. Uh, I'm just gonna burn this on you just so she dies. Um, we're gonna hit her for 3,000, but hopefully that's enough. There we go. 5,000 actually. Pretty nice. Okay. So yeah, like I said. You can, you can, you could. If you don't have Ramiru, I mean, probably Yulha might be like a decent enough replacement. But for me, like, the reason I kind of just stopped using Yulha is because I have Ramiru. And Ramiru serves the purpose of just tanking her and then s 3 ing her anyway, if you build him properly. Um, yeah, so that's kind of my thoughts there. It's interesting seeing more of her on defense teams ever since she got that EE. Uh, it makes sense, clearly. I mean, look at that. I did 1,000 and then 5,000 on the proc. That guy did 15,000! I don't know. For those of you, I mean, not everybody watches all these continuously, and then even if you do watch them all, uh, I don't know if you'll remember everything that happens from episode to episode, but... Oh my gosh. I'm still... I'm gonna be salty about that forever, like, for all time. I'm just never not gonna be salty. And she's dead. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'd really like to just boost my... Why young like make her just better but okay so here's my shoe let's see her do something okay so we're gonna do this mm, so she's countering yep Hopefully the crit resistance does something here. Cool. And we'll just clear these. Perfect. Uh, our first priority is probably just going to be kill her, just because she's really annoying. And we got the counterattack. Yay. Um, let's see how much damage I do off of this. 12 grand. Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, she had attack buff. And let's see. I have the artifact that I have on her. Like, Again, I'll show her at the end. But the artifact I have on Shu right now is the... Um, should is it the... Oof. Wow. Oh, yeah. Never mind. The artifact I have on her right now is the... Not the artifact. The exclusive equipment is the one that gives her a chance to uh, S2 after the S1. Uh, so we're just going to go here. She has not done it yet, which is kind of sad to me, but... Alright, we're going to try to do something risky. We're just going to try to kill her with this. Cool. Come on! She hasn't procced it once. It's only a 40% chance, so it's not even 50-50. Oh, she died! I can't believe that. Well, hopefully her RS3 comes up in time. Well, we have crit resistance, so hopefully this doesn't kill somebody. Oof. S1. Ah, you didn't S2. Um, we are going to hit you with this. Let's see how much damage I do off of this. 10 grand. We didn't heal that much, unfortunately. And she keeps critting! Stop critting! Uh, 
Uh, we'll hit you with this. That didn't. Oh, that was dumb. That was dumb. Oh, that was dumb. Ugh. I should have. I shouldn't. I should have S burned this because now I have to do this. Hopefully this kills her. But I should have burned the S1 so I wouldn't lose shoe. Hopefully shoe comes back. Yes, it's shoe. Was that shoe? Yeah, it's shoe. Okay. Yeah, I didn't want like if I lose Maid Chloe, that's fine. Um, it, it kind of sucks, but I don't really use her that much anyway. But I wanted to, you know, it's a shoe show, a shoe showcase. Oh, that sounds horrible to say. It's a showcase for shoe, so I'd like her to survive a little more. Uh, we're gonna go. Actually, we're gonna put shoe up here. You're here. Um, we need a cleanser, so. Where? What am I looking for? Oh yeah, I'm looking for you. Um, this doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look very good either. But having Shu here isn't really that helpful either because they're not going to crit very much. I mean, you know, she doesn't care about damage. She doesn't care about critting, and then she's just kind of here. So maybe Shu's not the best for this. I mean, if anything, I probably just have to go with um. What's his name? Where's Ramiro? Ramiro here. Yeah, we can run shoe down here. It's no big deal. Um, hopefully... Where is... Where is he? There you are. Uh, that's actually not a good idea. Uh, we're going to run anti-reviver here. We have to run no counterattack stuff, so we're going to have to run with... Uh, Actually, I have to go check. Hopefully, I didn't do what I think I did, but I might have done it, so I might have to go check something. Okay. Uh, I thought I took gear off of Landy, but I didn't, so we're fine. Um, so we're taking Landy into this, just because we can't risk her counterattacking and her counterattacking. Um, the question is, do I run... I think I just run you, right? These three. Hopefully, this is enough. Um, yeah... That, that's who I could have run instead of um, made Chloe earlier. I could have just run Amelia. Hmm. Just gonna hit you. 5k. How much damage she... She's not going to do that much damage, but it's going to hurt still. I can't, even if I do it on, yeah, I'll just have to hit her anyway, just because I don't want Ramiru to die. So let's see if we can kill her. And she countered. Good. Fantastic. That proc didn't go through, I don't think. That's evil. Ah. Uh, Okay, whatever, that's fine. I'll just kill you. I hate, I hate this girl so much. I just hit everybody with this. We're not gonna get a better opportunity than right now. Two defense breaks. There we go, perfect. Absolutely perfect. Who did I lose? I lost Ramiro. That kind of sucks, but whatever. Lost Ramiro off a counterattack. I can't believe this. Yeah, that's, um... Pierre, yeah. She's almost worse than, like... Like, I almost prefer... Yeah, like, she's more annoying than, um... <laughs> even, what's her name? Uh, MLCC. That's who I was thinking of. Push you up. Do 
Uh, we're gonna get rid of you just because she's gonna like it. They're gonna have a bunch of extra turns because of ML Lilius here. So the sooner we get rid of her, the better. Let's just kill you. There we go. And then we get to do this. And we get to do this. Don't counter. Good. I don't have any immunities. This is going to go through. And she's, yeah, Sigurd. Are you serious right now? So she had miss, he had miss chance and 0% crit chance. I just want to point that out right now. I mean, not zero, obviously you can't have zero. He's got like 15%. He's got minimal crit chance. I can't even... Like, Selene is such an irritating unit. Like, I just hate her so much. Let's do this. Thirty-five thousand. So all that damage I did was basically worthless. Don't crit, and they crit. <sighs> You're forced to crit. Uh, uh, you can't. I can't even fathom the mathematical improbability of what just happened right now. Like it doesn't even make any sense. But whatever. It's like. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see. At least we won. That's the important part, I guess. Let's move here. Let's see. Hmm. I guess we're going to just have to do this. Well, let's try this instead, actually. Let's try this. With, uh, with you. And we need somebody to kind of be tanky enough to deal with this. Someone who doesn't crit, I guess. Uh, this is pretty good, I think, right? Well, I don't know. What if I... No, it's not going to work. Hmm. I kind of want someone, well, she's already got the cleansing thing, um, but we need someone who doesn't, like, who can do a decent amount of damage without critting her. Um, so, yeah, someone with low crit would be good. Is anybody AoE? I guess she does. But he's going to die away before then. He's the, he's the only dark unit here. Well, the only visible one. Um, I guess I'm just going to have to go with uh, MLCC on this one. Uh, hopefully nobody dies, but, you know, whatever. Uh, okay, down here we've got the same... Is this the same team we fought against before? I think it is. So I guess I'm just going to go with you. Um, Ramiro's dead, so clearly that's not going to be a good option. Um, I guess we can try Shu. I don't really, I don't know. I don't have high hopes for this, but we'll just go. Because, um, what's his name? He's just going to die right off the bat. Like, I already know. He's going to, he's going to, hopefully he's going to get his S3 off, at least. And then he'll die. After that, everything's, you know, whatever. Let's push you up forward. Let's hit you with this. She shouldn't have that much resistance, but yeah. Okay, cool. She has the most HP. I guess they generally tend to be like that. 
Uh, let's hit you. Let's not crit, shall we? Cool. And she's gonna ask two again? Oh no, okay. And we're blinded. Yay. Well, and we crit her. Ugh, she's gonna die. Should I just. I don't know. You better not crit her. Okay, good. And she counterattacks, which is fine. Uh, now we get to do this. Well, this is useless. We'll save those for later. Oh, she's only got 13k HP. She just like dumped it all into attack. <laughs> or all into speed. And she's dead. Yeah. There's nobody like, I don't know. It's just annoying. Like there's no one in this game that can take that kind of damage. And um, it's over. I lost. <sighs> and she's dead. Well, she's, yeah, no, she's dead. And we lost. So we basically just got out RNG there. Uh, one of the things, yeah, that's kind of the most annoying part about um, MLCC, or not MLCC specifically, um, ML Celine is that like nobody can really stand up to the kind of damage that she puts out. So it's like, you know, <laughs> you just got to take it to the face basically is what it boils down to. So here's kind of where we have to decide what I'm going to do. Um, well, let's get this done. We'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. Yeah, but really, there's no one who can tank um, Celine. It's really annoying. It's actually more than annoying, but you know, whatever. Um, how about we just kill you? Well, again, this is where the problem comes in, because I can kill her with this S3, but she's just going to revive her. She's going to kill him. Unless... No, she's gonna, he's going to hit her. She's not going to die from that. Uh, famous last words. Uh, <laughs> she shouldn't die from that, but whatever. Let's roll the dice and see what happens. Oh, I forgot that I reset her her cooldown. Um, do you think this will kill her? I hope it does. Uh, let's see. Okay, cool. She's dead. Oh, don't die. Yeah, she's gonna die. She's dead. Yep, so that defeated like 90% of what I just did. <sighs> wow, he didn't die. That's weird. Yes, come on, S2, S2, yes! Oh, I should actually be hitting uh, Ravi more. S2, S2, no! S2, yes! Oh my gosh, shoot! Oh my gosh, she's going ham! Oh man, that still hurts a lot. Let's see if I can just kill you with this, just die! Oh my gosh, she did it! I can't believe that, that's insane. <clears throat> uh, her damage is a little lower than I would have hoped it to be, but it still clearly did the job there. Um, yeah, that was pretty interesting. Um, fun to see. We got lucky with our counterattacks, though, was basically what it came down to. Um, I'm still salty about Celine. Yeah, so 
basically what I have to do now is run anyone. You can't really run a dark tank into her. Like, it's just not going to work. Um, but then that just makes her unpredictable because she can just hit whoever she wants. Um, going forward, I guess I'll just have to figure something out. Um, if anything, maybe... Um, probably Eula might be a decent counter to her, but like that's only if you can hide your damage dealers. So either um, bringing S10A or uh, Landy's. So you can hide the damage dealer, bring some kind of healer. Hopefully the healer can heal themselves and then leave... Um, what's her name? There to just tank most of the damage, but I don't know. But yeah, that's another... Just another example where Eula might be kind of interesting because she won't just die. Because with Crow, she can S1 Crow, bring him down to like, you know, decent S3 range. And then she can, if she does double proc, she's just going to kill him again. Um, these are basically, these are all solved also by just bringing um, Hua Young into this, right? If you bring Hua Young into this, her S2 or S1, S1 or S3, because they both kind of have a, well, the S1 has it, but the S3 does not. But if you run your Baird's Tooth, right? Anyway, the point being that uh, that would work. If you just bring her into her her S1 proc that does extra damage, and we'll, we'll take a look at the, the, the units while we're here, I guess. This extra proc here, where is it? When it is buffed, inflicts additional damage portion of the caster's attack. And then this one too, right? Uh, when that procs, it'll get through her health gate. So she, you can just one-shot her, because it happens to... Um, uh, T. Surin as well. You can just one shot them through their health gate. Um, but yeah, so I guess if anyone wants to see her build, I didn't really use her that much, but here it is. Her attack is like abysmally low. I don't know. Like, like I said, I mean, people are probably running around with like 8,000 attack Hua Youngs if they're getting 15,000 S1 procs, but whatever. Uh, it is what it is. And this is a, like, I hate this artifact so much. Like, I hate this 85% chance to trigger crap. Like, it's so annoying. Um,. But it is what it is. It's what I got to deal with. Uh, let's see. And here's my shoe. Uh, we gave her this, so she's missing two speed. But this is, you know, twenty per forty percent chance to activate Foosh. Uh, I forgot what the Foosh one does. Let me change. I think it's so. This one gives everybody immunity, which is pretty good. But I kind of, since I'm running her on a counter set, and she's got built-in Elbrus, uh, I kind of like to play the gamble on this. And as you saw there, it turned out better. Um, it turned out really good, so there's that. But like, if I ever need her to be, you know, faster, and I need her to be a uh, immunity giver, I can just run this on her. But for right now, I'm really kind of smitten with this, uh, with this one here. Um, so yeah, there's that. So here's her her setup. Uh, the crit damage is a little bit low, which is why she didn't do as much damage. But at what it's like, we can pretend that's 250 plus 280. We're nearly at 300 percent crit damage. Um, I'll take that. I like the speed she had on her. Um, the speed would be a little bit better if she was, you know, um, what is this? Yeah, if she was built more towards uh, going first with this artifact, but as she is now. The only thing I'm probably going to change on her, the speed did pretty good, but didn't do enough for my taste. So I think the only thing I changed on her is probably I need to find a health boot, one without effectiveness, something like this. So she'll probably end up looking like this in the long run. Um, a little more crit damage, more CC. Uh, you kind of want, you need her to crit 100% of the time on her S1 to get the possibility of the 40% chance to crit the S2, to proc the S2, I mean. Um, I think. Unless that was just the CR push. That might just be the CR push. But anyway, this is probably what I'm going to end up running on her. As you can see, though, I only have one decent um, health counter set boot, and it's already being used by someone who I'm not going to say is necessarily better than she is, but occupies a similar place while being AoE on top of that. So it'll be it'll take some time to figure out what I'm going to do with her. Uh, if anything, I'll probably put this boot on her and then um, replace this with defense or something because she's kind of low on defense. Uh, but yeah, so far I think she's really good. She's a lot of fun, definitely. Um, like I said, if she had more health, she would have survived more and she would have just dished out more damage. And with the more crit damage with the health combined, uh, I think we're pretty solid on that front. Um, but yeah, so... We're probably going to see her in the next Guild War, and I'll, by then I'll probably have this leveled up. In fact, I'll just put this on the end, I guess. We'll see what we can get out of this. Uh, let's see if we can get any um, boots that I'm not using. Yeah, anybody who wanted to leave already left, so hopefully those of you who are still here just want to see... Um, want to see some gear get upgraded. I'm not sure who this was for, but I don't need it now. Uh... 
crit damage, defense. This thing is all over the place. I'm just gonna give her this one. Who who needed this? What is this? Forty. Sp who needs speed on? Attack, defense, health, crit damage. Uh, I'm not really sure who needs that, but I can't think of anything now, so I'm just gonna throw it in there. Let's see what we get out of this. Um. Okay, we got a minimum crit damage roll, which that kind of sucks. Uh, we got near minimum effect resistance roll, uh, minimum crit chance roll, and a bunch of flat attack. So yeah, this 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 I'm just gonna say it, this is pretty horrible. Um, yeah, this is like actually nightmare bad. Like, I can't believe that I just wasted that fif plus fifteen on nothing. Um. I think we got two rolls into flat attack. Let's go see what a what a flat attack looks like on one of these. Thirty-eight. So we did get two rolls onto attack. So two, two, three, four, five. So yeah, this is like pretty bad. Uh, huh. Crit chances. We're losing crit chance. Ugh. This I hate this boot. So it looks like we're not going to be running that boot next time. Um, I have some I have some craft uh, uh, crafting stuff, so I could probably make some more boots and see where we get from there. Um, but yeah, till then I guess we're stuck with this. And I'll probably swap this over to crit damage now that I have a crit chance. Uh, now now that I'm gonna run a um, a health boot at some point. Right now the worst comes to worst, I'll just run this. Right. The main thing I hate about this is this effectiveness doesn't need to be here. It could be crit damage or something, which I could just roll it into crit damage, but. I mean, I guess. Crit damage. What is this? If I get that, we're going to get, not minimum, so maybe get 15% crit damage. Put this in here, 56, 256. It's not too bad. 17% um, effectiveness, I really don't like. But this HP is pretty good, and then the defense percentage is obviously good. Um, I'd like, so what I would like is basically these stats, defense, crit damage, crit chance, and then speed. Speed isn't that important, but if you get a decent amount of speed, if you get it up to 160 plus a crit, uh, plus a, a counter set, it makes it pretty formidable because, let's go back over here. This S1 gives her 20% combat readiness every time she activates it, and she doesn't just activate it when you get a crit, when you get a counter set, right? When you counter on this, she also activates it because this causes her to counter attack when it's not her turn, when someone else gets attacked, right? After an ally except the caster is attacked, 20% chance to counter attack, right? So if the AOE or something like that, she can pull this off pretty consistently. Uh, and then there's 20% crit chance. The only problem, obviously, that exists right now with running her on a health boot is going to be the fact that... Um, yeah, running her on a health boot means that we're basically not going to be able to... like. It's going to take a while to, 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 to pull this off, right? She's, she's at 150 speed, so it's not going to like, you know... So it'll take time before she gets her turn and before this kicks into effect. Wait, hold on. Yeah, unavailable. So she has to trigger this and then the outburst is proc rather than because sometimes it's the opposite, right? Sometimes it's if this is if this hasn't been triggered yet, she can do it, but you know, it's the opposite. So just keep that in mind. Um but yeah, mainly, yeah, she's alright, I think. Um not too bad, I think. Hopefully we'll have better gear by the next time we see her, which is pretty high likely considering it's the weekend and Monday I'll have a, I should have a video up with her um properly kitted out. Some of this stuff is pretty good, right? Like, look at this, 31% health. Like, this is perfect for her. I gave her this. This is not perfect for her, but I gave her this because she needs defense because, as you can see, with that, she's barely hitting a good defense spot. 31%, uh, whatever. Um, whatever, again, this should be crit damage. And this boot is kind of all over the place, so it's like whatever. But, uh, yeah, so far, um, was that enjoying her? Um, I'll see you guys next time. I don't know what the next video is going to be. I don't know if Guild Wars is coming up next or I'll make something over the weekend. But, yeah, till then.